In this lecture, we will talk about convergence in the mean square error sense and almost sure convergence. A sequence, a uh, uh, random sequence xn, is said to converge to a random variable x in the mean square error sense or in the mean square sense uh, if and only if uh, the expectation of xn minus x squared converges as a sequence to zero as n goes to infinity. Okay, so um, this is a quite strong um, notion of convergence. Previously, uh, we've uh, talked about, uh, we've introduced uh, um, in probability convergence. The claim that we can quickly prove is that if a sequence converges uh, in the mean square error sense uh, to a random variable x, this implies that the sequence converges in probability to the same random variable x. So let's uh, quickly prove this. Um, well, as you remember, uh, the definition uh, for convergence in probability is that the probability that the difference is positive decays to zero. Okay, so let's uh, check out the difference. The, in fact, the probability that the difference is larger than a positive number. Well, uh, this, as you know, uh, we can also express as the probability that the square of the difference is larger than epsilon squared. Okay, but we know how to bound this by Chebyshev inequality. By Chebyshev inequality, uh, this is, mm, uh, in fact, uh, we don't need the Chebyshev inequality here. I'm sorry. You, you, you can use Markov inequality and say that this is upper bounded by the expectation of x n minus x squared divided by epsilon squared. Uh, but since we assumed that there is mean squared error convergence to x already, this thing goes to zero, which implies that the left-hand side goes to zero as well as n goes to infinity. So we have proved that mean square error convergence implies in probability convergence, which shows that mean square error convergence is a stronger notion of convergence. And in fact, in probability convergence is known as weak convergence. Okay, now, uh, are there similarly strong forms of convergence like mean square convergence? A, a very strong notion of convergence is almost sure convergence or convergence with probability one. Let's define that next. Um, Xn converges to the random variable x almost surely or with probability one if and only if the probability of the realizations or outcomes w for which the sequence xn converges to x is 1. Okay, so um, this is maybe a little um, harder to understand because it requires going back to the sample space and uh, associating probabilities with outcomes. Okay, so uh, let me try to illustrate this by drawing the sample space. This is our sample space, and there are different outcomes, w1, w2, w3, and so on. Now, for each w, I can, uh, once this w is selected or is realized, 
it leads to a sequence x1 of w1, x2 of w1, and so on. Okay, when w2 is selected, it leads to a realization for the random process, a sample path for the random process that goes like x1 of w2, x2, I'm sorry, uh, x1 of, uh, yeah, x2 of w2, and so on. Okay, so each realization is a sequence, is a deterministic sequence. Now, uh, the random variable is said to converge with probability 1 uh, to the distribution x if the total probability of the sequence of the outcomes uh, where the sequence, the corresponding sequence, correspond, uh, co uh, converges, I'm sorry, to uh, x uh, is 1. 